Courtney from Weaver Leather, and I want to talk to you today about a couple new great products from our mid-year collection. Here we have two style of gag bridles. This style is a straight brow band style with a throat latch. We also have a sliding ear head stall, a really traditional cowboy look, it's great. These bridles are made from our premium Herman Oak leather and they feature our exclusive silver tip rope. They also have stainless steel hardware. In addition to these bridles, we have three gag bits. All three of these bits are made from stainless steel so they're super durable and they're going to be really easy to clean. The first bit that we have here is a smooth mouth sweet iron gag bit. The second bit is a sweet iron copper roller mouth gag bit. And the third one is a twisted mouth gag bit. The first two bits have sweet iron on them. Now what that means is that the sweet iron is intended to rust and it's gonna increase the horse's salivation in their mouth. The second bit takes it a step further and you have a copper roller mouth which is going to give you a little bit more salivation as well as give your horse something to play with. The third one is all stainless steel, so it's super, super easy to clean, but it also has this very slow twist. So this one is not going to be super harsh, it's about a moderate strength, where these two are very mild. Now what I'm going to do is teach you how to put your gag bit on your gag bridle. I chose my twisted mouth gag bit and my brow band head style with a throat latch head stall. The first thing that you want to do when putting your bit on your bridle is you're going to slide the leather keeper up the cheek piece slightly. Then you're going to loosen the rope around the stainless steel ring and slide the rope from around the ring, taking the ring completely off. Next, I'm going to take the leather keeper off of the rope and now I'm ready to put on my bit. Now it's important to remember when you're putting your bit on your bridle is to make sure the bit is facing the correct way. You'll notice that the bit is curved more on one side than it is the other. What you want to have in your horse's mouth is the bit to be able to close fully. If you put your bit in backwards, like so, you will pinch your horse's tongue and that is not comfortable for them. So again, making sure that my bit is facing the correct way, I'm going to slide the rope cheek piece through these little rings on the bit. Then I'm going to replace my leather keeper. So you'll notice that the leather keeper has a finished side and a non-finished side. You want to place the finished side up towards the brow band and slide the rope through the leather keeper like so. Then you're going to take your stainless steel ring, slide the rope through, wrap it around, and pull tight. Then you're going to use your keeper and slide it all the way down until it hits that metal ring. Then you'll adjust your bit so it slides down on top of the keeper. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm gonna move up my leather keeper, loosen up the rope around the stainless steel ring, take the stainless steel ring off, take the leather keeper off, and again, one more time for good measure, make sure your bit closes towards your horse's mouth. Then I'm going to slide my rope through both metal rings, and replace my leather keeper with the finished side facing up. And then replace my stainless steel ring. So sliding the ring through again, wrapping it around, and pulling tight. Then replacing the leather keeper down on top of the ring, and sliding the bit down. Now that I have put my bit on my bridle, you can add your rein. It's important to know that you can only put your reins 
on these two stainless steel metal rings. Now I want to talk about why gag bridles are so useful. Gag bridles are a great tool for teaching your horse collection. What it does is it uses lip pressure on your horse's mouth as well as pull pressure on top of your horse's head. What this does is it brings your horse's head up. Why is that so helpful? If you have a horse that's heavy on the forehand, he hangs on your reins a lot, or if he's just a bad puller, this is a great tool to use. This style of bridle is a great tool for barrel horses. A lot of times barrel horses can get really excited and start anticipating those barrels way before you want them to. So what the gag style does is lifts their head up and gets them to focus a little bit more. The gag style bit is also a great bit to transition from a correctional bit to a competition style. As with any piece attack, if used incorrectly, it can be severe. So if you're unsure of its uses, please contact a trusted trainer. Also, if you are a novice rider, if your hands are heavy, or if you're having trouble balancing your weight on your reins, this is not the bit for you. These great products are brought to you by Weaver Leather, which means they're going to give you years of dependable performance. But for whatever reason, if you're not satisfied, they come with our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So to find your new gag bridle or bit, visit ridethebrand.com and click on the Find a Retailer tab. Thanks for watching. Thank you.